I had been writing screenplays for several years and um, without any success, uh, various subjects. And I was looking to find that thing which would help me break through. I wanted to write a movie that had the essence of what I loved about Steve McQueen, a certain kind of hero that I loved. It was an American samurai, someone who was willing to put their life on the line for a paycheck. I enjoyed the film. I saw it in the theater when it was first opened a long, long time ago. Um, but I really became a fan when I read an early draft of Lawrence Kasdan's screenplay, and I could see the structure. Maybe it's just appealed to me as a writer, but I could see the way he built it and, uh, and how interestingly woven and, 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 and carefully planned it was. A lot of people responded to the idea that he grows to care about her so much and must it's a, one of those impossible loves that can't happen if he's to maintain what he is and she's to continue to be what she is. There's no way they can ever be together. The most important thing about when you're doing an adaptation is that you believe in your heart that you can make it as good or better than the original material. Otherwise, what's the point? I'm thrilled that Alex Denlardis is writing the book. He has a real understanding of the traditions of a musical and how you can tell this story in, uh, in the midst of musical numbers. The music gives me an opportunity on stage to delve further into the emotions of the characters. So it gives us a richer Frank and a, a richer Rachel uh, and a richer Nikki. The music takes a much more important role than it did in the movie. When you look at the movie, you see it's only a few songs in the movie compared to what this musical is going to be like. And yet, all the songs and the way that they've been placed have enormous resonance for the story that's being told. It's a romantic thriller, which I don't think we see a lot of on the stage. Um, the language, the dialogue is very modern, sort of um, fast-paced, exciting. Um, there are thrills, there's blood. Um, uh, most of all, you have a, an artist in Heather Headley who's something to behold. Heather's an electrifying performer, and it's hard to imagine how great this could be with the brilliant design that's going on and um, great direction. I couldn't have found a better director for it. I love that Thea is directing this. She brings something so fresh and classical to it. So when you put Heather in that setting of a great design, great costume, great choreography, with Thea putting the whole thing together, there's no telling what, how great it could be.